I'm not sure how I prefer... <laughs> First line. <laughs> Great. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about this week's Try It Tuesday. I mean, I know that's the point, to try it and see how I feel about it, but someone's done a mashup with an Aussie classic. Well, New Zealand classic, but as an Aussie kid, I grew up with it. So for this week's Try It Tuesday, Lamington flavored chips. Stick around for the random rating I give it at the end and the bloopers. Oh, I really want it to be good. Lamingtons are one of those things that there's like a bit of a fight between Aussies and Kiwis about where it comes from. Apparently it came from New Zealand and you know what? If it came from New Zealand, that's cool because either way, I like lamingtons. I grew up with them as a kid. You could have them in little fingers or like these big kind of cube things and you could have them like, like mini ones in your play lunch which is the food that you take to school in when you're in school or you could have them for like I know, you know when you have like a barbecue and people like put out other random treats and things or you could smuggle them for breakfast if your mum wasn't watching. It might be hard to see but there's quite a dark flavouring on the chip on the picture on the packet so it'll be interesting to compare. <laughs> I really want this to be good but for some reason I just keep thinking gross. Lamingtons are like soft and squishy so you know but I'm all for this. Oh, that's why I'm here to give it a go and cross my fingers and hope for the best. Smell test time. <laughs> it's strange smelling a chip that actually smells sweet. I probably should have explained. So a lamington is pretty much like a, a, a light cake, like a sponge cake in the middle. It's got like this like light chocolatey covering on the sponge and then it's covered in like coconut. And so they smell sweet, sweet. I can't decide if I, <laughs> it's just, my nose and my brain just are not in agreement. It's just, they're not working together on this one. Oh, see now I do want a real lambing to know, that'd be nice. Obviously I've had a sneak peek inside the packet. I can see the dark flavoring. Let's see if you can. I probably picked up the lightest chip in the packet. So clearly, obviously it doesn't get on all the chips equally, but I'm sure the flavor's still around. This one is quite dark. Oh God, oh God, wish me luck. Okay, I'm just gonna put the strong one like straight in. Tongue down, facing down for my tongue, like, you know, all the flavor. Okay, cake, it smells like cake. Oh. <laughs> I just, I can't, again, taste buds, brain, eyes, nose, all the senses are just going, uh, I'm sorry, what? Uh, what? So, oh. probably just ate about eight chips and I think that's because I figured out that there's kind of two things I need to answer. One, does it actually taste like lamington? Excuse me while I clean the chips out of my teeth. And two, do I like it? Don't be fooled by my facial expression when I ate that first chip. I think that was literally just my senses going, whoa! <laughs> And I almost feel like there's two different ratings. And I know there shouldn't be, but here's why. I'm not a sweet tooth. So if you ask me to choose chips 
I'll I'll always go the savory. So you know the barbecues, the vinegars, like anything with chili, the the cream cheese and onion. Um, yeah, that's just my bag. So sweet isn't, and so this is just a real confusion. I would eat them though. Strangely enough though, because they're sweet, I'd probably sit down with a cup of tea, because that's what you do with a lamington. But I feel like that's not right with these chips. <laughs> this one's really got me. I just, I don't know, so instantly on some of the other trite choosers, I'm like, love it, hate it, nah. I've had a couple of like, eh, but I, I don't know because I think they've done a really good job with the flavor I think it reminds me of a lamington and whether that's just because of the coconut but there's there's something else in and they've it's not like you get hit with this punch chocolate but there's a little some some so <sighs> what to do the smell reminds me of something else that's not lamington like the coconut reminds me of lamington, but there's, some, there's something else, there's something, something. I don't know, it reminds me of something else, and I can't think for life of me what it is. <laughs> Could I open the door? I'm gonna have to take these to work tomorrow and get everybody I know to try them and see their weird reaction. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I'm trying to think of my other Try Tuesdays and where I'd put it on the board. Because I feel like three is middle of the road, but I could go two and a half, that's middle of the road. But I appreciate them a little bit more than like middle of the road. But you know, they're not up there with the fruit tingle ice cream and the peanut butter ice cream. Apparently I like ice cream. Alright, if I'm thinking they're a bit more than middle of the road, and if I put two and a half is middle of the road, well I think I'm going to have to give them three pumpkins out of five. But just know, I was almost bored. No. I'm gonna give them three and a half because I think they've done a really good job. Whether it's an Australian or a Kiwi dish or food or whatever, they have done really well with the flavor. It's just not soft, but that's okay. All right, it's late and I should go to bed. Three and a half pumpkins out of five. If you're a sweet tooth and you like lamington, go for it. And if you're just a sweet tooth, go for it and if you live anywhere outside of Australia and you come to Australia or you can find these somewhere limited edition give them a go I would definitely recommend that okay happy trying thanks for watching doing for this week's try oh. is this what this is I'm all for this that's what to I'm not a sweet tooth so if you offer me to choose oh god Oh, the lighting changes so dramatically when I move forward and backwards. So dramatically. <laughs> they are stuck in my teeth.